It's that time of year again. The consumer holiday that affords me the chance to achieve my lifelong goal. You see, I'm lonely. And I have been for some time now. But that's all going to change this year. Every day, week, month, I stumble through this existence. It's painful. Sometimes I'll have a fleeting moment of contact with others. And sometimes it won't be forced. The last time, last time was Anne Marie. She was special. She didn't look at me like all the others. She could see past the differences. And hell, I respected that. In the end, though, like all the others, her frail body couldn't cope with what I demanded of her. So, such a shame. She would have made an ideal host. Before you get the wrong idea, before all this comes out, you need to understand, I've done my research. Over the years, countless experiments. Lisa, Stephanie, Gloria, Emily, fucking even Davy, the wild card. Then last year, Amory. Not to mention the nameless many. The ones I didn't get time to take a name. Or the ones who were just too young to trust. My approach in the beginning, I think I had a big part and why I think the results were negative. I was too far eager, too aggressive. I didn't take my time. I damaged them far too early before they had even begun the process. They had never even stood a chance. This resulted in these abominations. They rarely lived past the first hour. The fight to break free from their dead host was too much. For them, you know? And I was never one to interfere. Let nature take its course, they say. In a way, it was a mercy. This year, I'm taking a new approach. To satiate the yearly need to spread my seed. I have kept myself a stress reliever in the basement. She's not here to function as once before. She's here to quench my thirst, my needs. She will make for a great meal at the end when my babies come home. You see, I won't be leaving them in a host this year. No, your body, as it turns out, just can't cope with the first stage of the process. So instead, I systematically lay them within your seasonal egg treats throughout the supermarkets and the high streets. If the timing is right, they should be awake by the time your little ones begin to crack them open. What a sight that will be. I'm a little saddened I won't get to see them all feed on their first little person. It's okay though. I've kept one here with me. I'll deliver this treat to the girl downstairs. When I'm finished with her, <laughs> it's funny. No matter what I've done to her, little girls and boys always love chocolate. <laughs> I'm sure in her state too, she won't notice it attempting to hatch either. I do love the holidays. Hatchling was written by Trench Survivor and performed by Ethan Martini. <laughs>